1041, 1075, the box. Fire top floor of uh, Brownstone Cake. Head for the Taiwan floor. Boston Elton 1075 has been transmitted for box 2241. That address is 561 Walton Avenue. That's at East 150 Street and East 149 Street. We're putting fire on the top floor of the brownstone. Boston Elton 1075 has been transmitted for box 2241. Address is 561 Walton Avenue. That's at East 150 Street and East 149 Street. We're putting fire. Okay, guys, this is a 1075. fire on the top floor of a brownstone i'm trying to figure out where it is it's over here we were very close by we just got here Looks like it's in the back. They're gonna put water on it now. like it's in the back and they're putting water on it now let me move back and see if I can see a little better Alright, they're raising the ladders up to their necessary positions, the stick, the members are going up on the stick now, and the bucket is up, now the members are on that, they're putting water on the fire, he might be bringing down the bucket to break some windows for ventilation, let's see, now some heavy smoke pushing now, hold on. Alright, let me know what you get. Alright, the 
fires in the rear, folks. Uh, looks like there's no access to that, but they're venting. Say that the fire's in the rear doesn't look like there's any access to the rear. It looks like they got water on it back there. I still got members climbing up. More members climbing up on uh, 55 truck. We haven't said anything else, but there's a decent smoke pushing from up there. All right, they haven't found it. They're looking for it. it. Might be in the walls. They think that they have something in the front here. Here we go. They said first it was in the back. Now they said they got something in the front. It might be in the walls. These old buildings. Uh, they refurbished them and. Front the whole time. The fire right here.
Okay, guys, the uh, content fire materials and stuff in the apartment and the front there. They're checking the ceilings and the walls and stuff like that for extension. So it's one room content. Uh, yeah. Uh, looks like they got a knockdown on it. Um, it was well on its way though. It got here pretty quick and they banged it out. Smoke is dissipating. I believe they got one line stretch and one line in operation. I don't think that's it. That's the one line right there. They stretch it all the way to the top. Second fire of the night in the Bronx. Second fire in the Bronx for us. Uh, both of them very quickly knocked down. The other one was a can job. This one it was a command to ladder one seven. Ladder one seven. Eric, uh, someone out here saying that this was might have been a lithium ion battery in a backpack. You guys should check that out. And there you go, it might be an ion lithium battery. Can they give us a roundabout uh, location where they had a plugged in? Suppose it. Just tag someone out here. I don't see him now. If I see him again, I'm going to ask him for a better location. I'm fired. Supposedly in a backpack, the ion lithium battery, if it is that. They're up there looking around in the apartment for what might be an ion lithium battery. Um, as I understand it, I uh, heard some conversation. There might be even a aftermarket, one of those aftermarket cheap phone batteries. Uh, so I don't know what it is right now, but they'll get to the bottom of it. They're looking for it. They found the backpack. There was nothing in the backpack and it wasn't damaged. Okay, I'm gonna continue to monitor it. It looks like everything's pretty much done up there, so which is good. Uh, and uh, keep you up to date. Now. There's no extension above. Alright, there you have it. They're gonna go probably to a hole very quickly knocked down. He's gonna contact the bronze dispatch and transmit probably the hold and all the other details. Looks like squad company was first to as an engine here too. That's the second one for them. Command to ladder 5-5. Five, five. Ladder 5-5. Five, five. When uh, 17 done in the fire bombing, you guys just work on secondary. 
So let me just recap here. This was a 1075 all hands fire here in this apartment. Possibly a battery related situation. They knocked it down. They knocked it down very, very quickly. As you saw, as soon as we got here, they just started operating. Uh, one line stretch, one line in operation. Uh, searches are complete and negative. They gotta do secondaries, I believe, if I heard correct. And they're gonna go probably will hold shortly as soon as they get all the details. And then they'll transmit the details to uh, the Bronx. Subsequent to that, they'll go on the control. Hold on. Rock 2241, address 561, Walton Ave. Trucks are going to continue to open up. Secondary searches are underway. They're going to probably hold it this time. Division 50 10 4, Ripon the incident is 2-3 minutes. Over 6. Over small bag. Down. Burned. It looked like they attempted to put it out before we got in here. Alright, as you see... Alright, what do you think there was uh, batteries in there? Something? No, we don't see any batteries. We just see a... The, the side of a bag burnt, and it was also an extinguisher down in the lobby on the way in. All right, so as I was saying, and well, you heard it on the radio, they went probably will hold. Uh, they're still looking for the source of the um, uh, fire. They found a bag with some singe marks in it, but no batteries in it. They found a fire extinguisher on the first floor on their way in. So who knows? Uh, what happened, but they're doing the searches, like I said, the secondary searches, looking to make sure there's nobody passed out or hiding in a closet or under a bed or anything such like that. They have two apartments on that floor, and uh, they're making good progress, so uh, very good job today uh, with these jobs, banging them out. They do a very good job always, I'm just saying. They're very quickly knocked down today. Which is always good. taking up from here they're taking up the line they shut off the gas and the electric uh, they didn't really find anything or say anything that I heard on the radio but the um, and they went probably will hold they haven't gone under control they're just gonna go yank the line now any second from there uh, and start packing up Thank you. 
him transmitting the uh, under control uh, they shut off the uh, gas like I said looks like some of the electricity went out the chief is checking out uh, some guy that was roaming around uh, roaming around and said that he was in the uh, in the fire department trying to get the battery out. Uh, the battery that fire out, but I, I haven't heard anything about batteries. This is the life, the life we choose to chase these fires. Whether they're big fires, small fires, medium fires. Come some more line. Small fires broke out. A lot of members in there for sure.
Uh, I'm gonna go around the back and see if I can get a couple more of the members doing their thing there. Taking the stick down over there. Two for two, squad forty one. Just as I said before, everybody's taking up, packing up, ready to go. Uh, I got a little bit more information. It was a rubbish fire of some kind inside of the apartment. There were no batteries, nobody responded. Nobody knows how that battery story got started, but there were no batteries. And uh, like I said, I talked to some of my friends on the squad. They said two for two as an engine. I says, well, maybe if there's another one tonight, you'll be the squad. He says, yeah, we'd rather be the squad, but they did a great job, always. Uh, everybody's packing up. I'm gonna peek around and see if I see the rack. If not, we're gonna be out of here. So I think they're gonna bring the bucket down soon. I don't know. Let's see if I see, uh... oh, I see it.
Uh, they had no access. If that was open, could have went back there and saw some of it. Where the rack at? There the rack at. Rack three. All set up, ready to go. Green locator beacons on. There the rack at. Rack three. Two and two. See you all on the other side.